Hi, new surfboard time at boardshop.co.uk, and it's a good one. The latest in the Puddle Jumper family of surfboards from Matt Barlos at Lost. Um, this is the Puddle Jumper HP. Can you guess what it stands for? High performance. So, based on the original squash tail puddle jumper, you will also be aware of the round pin puddle jumper. This is a slimmed down, skinnied out, uh, less volume model that is designed to give you more performance. Um, still got the attributes of wave catching, good paddle power, um, and will go in less than perfect conditions, but it's all about having a surfboard that's a bit more precise, a bit more performance orientated. So, let's have a little look around it. You'll see immediately, compared to the squash tail puddle jumper, that the nose is more pulled in. <coughs> the wide point comes further back. There's a little bit more flip in the nose right at the end. Um, <coughs> the tail as well, the profile of the tail is a bit more pulled in, a bit more aggressive surfing, um, but still a nice, decent volume squash, something that's gonna carry some speed through the poorer sections of the wave. Um, <coughs> the rocker line is a little bit more rockered than the um, standard puddle jumper squash tail, the original one. <coughs> um, again, that's there to give you a bit more performance, make the board a bit more responsive and get it turning more quickly. We've got a um, big single concave into V through the fins. Uh, that's there to give you that lift to generate speed and then the V is there to help the board release into turns. So you'll see that Mr. Barlos has kept quite a few of the, of the good attributes uh, of the original puddle jumper which give it that bit of squirt and that bit of acceleration um, that is essential in surfing like poor waves. But with the slim down front end, a bit more pulled in, a little bit more rocker, that more aggressive tail, you've got a board that is more performancey. You get it in a good wave in the pocket and it's gonna go vertical, you're gonna be able to get it going top to bottom, whereas the wide tail on the original board made it too slow and clunky to turn once you got in decent waves. So, it's a nice addition as a, um, to a real low down dirty groveler. It's a good utility board if you're gonna surf kind of thigh to a bit overhead waves at home or abroad. Uh, it's just a nice well balanced board that's, as I said, it's got the attributes of the original puddle jumper where you need them, paddle power, catching waves, um, but it's got that bit of performance on top. So if you're an aspiring intermediate surfer and you're looking for a better wave board, then uh, the Puddle Jumper HP is definitely one to look at. Just to give you a comparison, a 510 Puddle Jumper HP has about 35 and a half litres. The original squash tail is about 40, and the rounded pin is about 36 and a half. So you can see how he's brought the volume down uh, in the board to give it that performance, but there's still enough sensible level volume in there um, to surf. If I was gonna have one of these, I would probably go for the 35 litre, I'm uh, about 75 kilo, six foot one, good looking. Um, and that's where I'd be, about 35 litres to take account of winter wetsuit, uh, all the rest of it. So there it is, the Puddle Jumper HP, logo on the bottom. Uh, you can custom order yours at a board shop, all the details are on the website. You can buy one on 0% Finance, uh, you can trade in any old nonsense against them, a new board as well. Just send us an email with the details and we will get right back to you. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit that red button uh, on the YouTube thing. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.